Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I am Brandy Rose. If you did not know, and I miss you mwah, so much, I cannot believe that I'm doing this video so freaking late in this month. I'm sorry, guys. A lot's been going on. I have two jobs now, and I do pole fitness. Anywho, let's get into why I'm making this video in the first place, which is this nice Ipsy bag that comes every month. Black Magic over here. Okay. It's a nice texture to this bag. So it says about the bag, all black fox leather and spiked. Is there anything more? Let's just go ahead and get right into it. No time to waste, you know? Ooh, goodies, goodies, goodies. I like how the inside is kind of like this... Violet. Like, it's kind of like a blue color, but on camera it looks very purple. Theme for this month is basically like a boss. Oh, and this is Charlotte Sho, co-founder of Korean Beauty. Very interesting. We got a brush, as always. Sorry, guys, I kind of have a cold. Um, we have an angle brush. What's the other brush that I got before? I've gotten this brush. I've gotten this brush. I've gotten a lot of brushes from these guys, and I love them so much. I've got an angle brush from them before that I wasn't a fan of. Oh, it's super... It's not dense enough. It's just... I'm not going to look for it right now, but it's not really thick. So, this one looked like it'll be a better angle brush than the other one that I got. This is the Lexi Beauty Lexi Rose Gold Medium Angle Brush. I'm excited to use this in my inner corners, and you guys, it's Halloween, like, next month, which probably will be, so, my camera cut off, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm most likely gonna post this video in October, there's no way, because I have to go to work tonight as well, but, yeah, so, first item, Luxie Angle Brush, really soft, nice, I like the texture, the feel, the bristles. I'm really liking that. This is a powder cleanser. Very interesting. This is the papaya enzyme powder cleanser. I actually want to read on this one. We just can't with harsh exfoliators. That's why the ultra gentle scrub is our new favorite for a fresh, glowy, and gorgeous complexion. So, if you guys have ever seen the um, Dermalogica Super Exfoliant, I'm sure this one is probably, if not the almost exact thing, same thing, you know, it's very similar, I can hear it, it's just like a powder, you put it on your face, your hand, or whatever, if you want to test it on your hand first, you add water, scrub it, the residue will be all the dirt and particles in your face, and then you rock, wash it off, it makes your face looks more radiant, you know, more awake, you know, so, I mean, this is definitely going to come in handy, because I've definitely been wanting to buy the Super exfoliant from Dermalogica, but I have not yet purchased it yet. So, yeah, I don't know what the next product. This is the Bio Fresh Mask with Real Calming Herb. A wash off mask made with natural herbs has that soothes and calms and hydrates skin. You guys know I love masks. I don't know. I just want to see how it smells. I'm a little worried about. It has a weird smell to it. I don't know if I want to put that on my face. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see what it says about this little mask here. It says Soko Glam Collab chosen by Ipsters by Boss Babe Soko Glam co-founder Charlotte Show. This creamy multi-masking mask is made with kaolin, a powerful mineral clay to help clear away grime, calm stressed out skin, and reduce redness. Shout out to sensitive skin ipsters. Hmm. I'm a sensitive skin ipster, so that might not be so bad. I might give it a try. I'm a little nervous about the smell, though. Hmm. Smashbox. Very interesting. This is the Photo Finish Radiant Primer. Okay. I haven't really ever used Smashbox primers like that. Um, but about this one, it says... What do you get when when an iconic primer mingles with a glowy highlighter? The brand new formula for insanely radiant skin. So, obviously, if you're more of a, um, 
If you have more dry skin and you want a radiant look, you're more dewy finish, this is something you would use. I like both matte and, you know, dewy looks because I have combination normal skin. My skin isn't so, you know, crazy. But, I mean, I don't know if I... I don't know. I don't know if I need a primer to make my skin even more radiant. Mm, might use it, might not. Might give it to you guys. So, last but not least, we have T's Eve's Ready to Wear Lipstick in Romance. I think, wait, lipstick in what? <laughs> my allergies are just so bad, you guys. Okay, so this is Eve's Ready to Wear Lipstick in Romantic Red. It says moisturizing hydrant. Not all matters are created equal. That's why we're flipping for this one. It's so creamy, comfy, and moisturizing on our dry pouts that we actually still can't believe it's matte. Okay, well, let me try this out. I'm definitely... Oh, this packaging, though. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. They put a lot of thought into this. I really think this is adorable. You see that? You see how cute that is? It's like a clear bottle. Clear bottle with the lips and, you know, all that on there. I think that's really gorgeous. That's really cute. I really like that. And it's red. Let's see. I'm not a big fan of red, though, you guys. Like, I always get these reds and you know, coral colors, but, you know. Let's just try it. You know, why not? See? It smells like candy. Oh, my God. What candy does it smell like? I think this is too red for me, though. This is way too red for me. I can't do it. I can't. But it smells good, too. It smells like freaking candy, man. And this packaging is just to die for. It's so freaking gorgeous. Like, ugh. I cannot. But that sums up my Ipsy bag, you guys. I'm kind of... <laughs> I wish that was a different color, though. I really wish this was... I don't know. It's not so bad. I'm probably just going to have to work with this red a little bit better. I just kind of threw it on, you know. But it doesn't... It's not dry. It's very moisturizing, like it said. Um... It's not too matte either, so I kind of can, you know, understand why it's this moisturizing. I don't think this is a real matte. The lipstick that I had on before this was actually a matte as well. So this compared to that, mm, it's not a matte. It's clearly just a regular lipstick, you know? It's not matte. Um... But that's okay. Just don't advertise it as Matt and we'll be fine. <laughs> Alright? Um, anywho, you guys, I'm so happy to finally be back on this camera recording for you guys. I miss you so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Mwah!